Okay, it's hot. I don't want to be out here too long doing this shit, but I will show you what happened to me. And if you do have something similar, make sure it doesn't happen to you. Because as you can tell by the rear tire, it is caved in. I was going about 10 miles an hour, hit a bump, and the upper control arm said, fuck you, and almost fucking, it, it would have been bad. I'll, I'll show you when I take everything apart. But yeah, the upper control arm in the rear is snapped. It's not the factory one. I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus, but you'll see the product when I take it out and see how it's fucked up. It's not snapped all the way. If I go ahead and push on it, you can see that it's not supposed to fucking do that. Okay. <sighs> There's not much done to the rear suspension as the car sits right now, but with all the wheel hop issues that the cars tend to have, I, you can see from right there, I got the BMR cradle lockout, and the car has a diff bushing insert. And that's it. I got some more wheel hop stuff that I'll go ahead and show you in the trunk. And I'll show you some replacement parts that I have that I'm going to put on. So, like I said, cradle lockout is on the car. Adjustable tow rods. Vertical links. And BMR's new adjustable upper control arm. I'll take the one out that's broken and compare it to this one. I just switched over to the drags about a, a month ago to kind of fill everything back in. But prior to that, I noticed that the left rear of the car would sit just about half an inch lower than the right side of the car. I could see here in the fender gap, the, obviously the drag sit a little bit higher in the rear, but you can tell by the fender gap from side to side that that side with the Ebok Sports, that side was lower. I took, I took the car to go autocross at Autorama at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I came back, the car felt really weird and the car was sagging on this side. I got underneath and my dumbass thought it was a spring. So I already wanted the BMR drags instead of, I guess, replacing the spring or whatever the fuck the case was. I was like, why don't I just put all four new springs and put the ones I want on there now. So I'm not mad about that. I put the drags on, but I started to notice the same thing. I started to notice that the left rear would sit a little lower. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? So I took it to Autorama, came back, and I was driving around. I'm like, man, the car feels weird. Like when I'm when when you're driving straight and you go ahead and you make like a, a quick turn to go around something, the car would feel like it was doing like some some that type of shit. So it just felt weird then oh about a week later i hit a fucking bullshit little fucking pebble in the road whatever a fucking little bump or something i heard a metal crack i heard like a fucking like a that, that's what it sounded like it sounded like like a like a ting like a tinging sound and then the car started to pull then once i got underneath i started looking at everything look at the fucking bolts i'm like what the fuck did i fucking break like what the fuck i'm over here looking around and the top of the tire is tilted in and then I push it and it fucking moves and I was like what the fuck so I start taking pictures underneath with my camera and you can see right there right fucking there that the control arm cracked so what was more than likely happening over the course of the month or so where I started to notice a sag on this side was that control arm was probably starting to bend. It was probably it was it was probably bending and flexing and flexing and then it just said fuck it and snapped. It didn't snap all the way, so it's still attached about halfway through, but I'm gonna rip I'm gonna rip it apart. I finally got the I've been waiting to get these BMR uppers so that I can put this on here. And then I'll, I could just drive it to my job and I could use my bay after work and fucking put everything on. Okay, holy shit. I was not expecting this. Okay, so obviously the car has been sitting for a good three weeks. Because when it happened, I said, fuck it. I'm ordering my BMR shit. I'm sending these pieces of shit back. And then once I get them, I can put it all back together. That's the adjustable upper. 
and it is completely snapped in fucking half. Here's the other, the other side to it, and it's just fucking, it's just fucked. Dude, holy shit, and now, and then, now I'm picky. When I fucking notice something that I don't like, I, I need to fix it. Especially when it comes to something that's relating to like drivability, performance, you know, that kind of stuff. Fuck, it's hot out here. Okay. Fuck, I should have brought my foam pad because it's fucking hot. Okay, and fuck you to whoever, whoever says, oh, he's a fucking pussy wearing gloves. Yeah, well, fucking girls don't really like dirty hands, okay? And I like pussy, so go fuck yourself. Um, all right, you can see, be my drags, cradle lockout, level two, which works great. Biggest difference I saw in the car since I did the headers in E85. It is crazy. Now, being that I was on Ebox Sports, when you lower it, you're gonna have about two degrees of negative camber in the rear tire, which I did not like. So that's why I got these adjustable uppers. That way I can be into my degree, degree and a half, whatever the case is. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I definitely don't want to put tires that cost four to five hundred dollars a pair, whatever the fuck kind of tires you're gonna get, especially if it's something like an NTO 5R. I don't want to roll around on two degrees of negative camber. I, I like my fucking grip, all right? I like to fucking get down. But that shit legit fucking snapped. Well, shit, there's no point in fucking trying to take them out and compare them because I was gonna put them next to each other, but this shit's in fucking half. Holy fuck. Okay, so. Again, these are set up way different. So, in comparison, you can look at it, you know, that's the, the inner portion of it. And here's your, your adjustment side. This portion actually screws all the way through the control arm. All the way through onto the other side. How, just like how it is here. This part is left hand threaded and which also sits inside of there so right here where your adjustment is is a lot more solid than the fucking pieces of shit that you see on my car and like i said i am picky i'm i'm gonna do the alignment myself so the way that i'm gonna have it set up and i'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it goes i'll do it tomorrow there is a slot for you to do camber which will allow on a factory arm to slide out and in but even then, that adjustment isn't enough for cars that are lowered. That you want, you know, the most positive camber, if that makes fucking sense. I don't know. The most positive, positive non-negative, whatever. Go fuck yourself. So when I install these, I'm going to have these sit all the way out in the slot. Lock it in. Have this on the upper control arm, obviously, because that's where it fucking bolts onto. Then see how much more... I gotta push this guy out. And hopefully, it's only something like this. Cause that's solid as fuck. That, that's all the way through to the other side of the control arm. And it even has a tiny little, you know, not a jam nut, but a, this little guy right here to you know, lock it more in place so that shit never moves. All right, I'm gonna see if I can illustrate this with it in my hand, but this is how it looks. And you can see the threads right there at the top. See how they're like tilted in? So it looks like the control arm, over time, was starting to do that. It was starting to bend, and then you could see here, yeah, you can even see, that's how I found it underneath the car, just like that. So it was starting to bend slightly, causing the car to droop down. And then the fucking piece of shit fucking broke, okay? So fuck that shit. Man, these just look, this just looks so good in here. Okay, so like I said, this new one, all the way forward. Now, the adjustment you need to actually fix camber will be with this first guy here. So you're gonna loosen the left hand thread. You gotta remember, loosen this guy. This guy turns. I don't know. Oh yeah, turns in and out, whichever direction you're gonna need. Then you lock it in with this guy flat face of the control arm here, facing forward. The other side has uh, indentions, or uh, not indentions, but 
room for the axle if need be. But yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I mean, pretty straightforward. So, BMR all the way. We'll see how the rest of the stuff goes on tomorrow. Holy shit. Okay, I definitely got some adjustment. <laughs> I definitely got some adjustment to, wow. I actually have positive camber. Holy shit. Okay, so that means the arm is all the way out and I still have plenty of adjustment to bring it in. So, jeez, holy shit. If you look, god damn. That has to be like positive. Okay, well, I mean, that's definitely better than what I fucking had before. Hold on. Hold on. Oh man, look at that, it's not moving. Cause it's not fucking broken. Cause it's not a piece of shit. Oh man, that's a relief. Okay. Well, other side, and then the rest of it tomorrow after work. One thing about these is that when they came out, immediately there was like two or three different revisions that came out after it. Which made me think like, yo, like what the fuck? Like, what's the deal? And now I know why. These from BMR have been out for the past six months. It's July of 2019 right now. No issues, everything's been fine. Um, no reportings of these just fucking snapping all of a sudden out of nowhere or adjustments coming loose or what have you. So I'm gonna test them firsthand. I don't know many people that have these because they do come with a price tag, but I am picky and I am willing to pay for that to go ahead and take care of the stuff that I like because I like good shit. Okay. Now that I'm here in the shop, got it up in the air, and it's a little fucking cooler in here, you can get a better look at everything. So, cradle lock out. The Durlin spherical vertical links. Let's see if I can get my light in here. Boom! Then you see the camber links that I got there. Paired with the BMR drags. And get the upgraded diff bolts. You can kind of see it right there. See how I slid it all the way to the outside and then locked it in. That's for the camber link. And do the same thing for that side. All the way to the out, all the way out, and then locked it in. So when I pull it on the alignment rack, I'm gonna have that jam nut loose for camber. Obviously I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have those guys loose. That way, not loose loose, but fucking snug, okay? I'm not gonna drive one out with the fucking wheel looking all floppy dick and shit. And I'm gonna go from there. And it should be straightforward. All right, here it is. Everything with the BMR adjustable everything. That's the front. And that's the rear. I'm gonna call that good for now, except for this rear. I'll probably gotta fix that right there. Car, cause I got in and out of the car, but that's fine. I'm good to go.